Merci. Pedro, Elena. Elena et Pedro. Elena. Elena. Elena, Pedro. 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 Fortunately, I'm not a woman, so I cannot <laughs> use this because I would like. And, the, and also, you know, the, in the movies that I make, sometimes I use Wagaldiano, but some is specific time because not all the characters can, can wear that. Mm -hmm. uh, but he always says, I mean, the pleasure is very good. And the pleasure that I receive when I'm spectating uh, one show like this, this is very important for my soul, for my inspiration and for everything. Right. And gives me a lot of energy. I think it's just one of the most beautiful beautiful things you can see. I mean, it brings the essence of beauty, the essence of femininity. It's, it's, it's the past, but it's also very in the present because it's going to inspire a lot of people. And it makes one want to be beautiful and elegant, like, you know, in a certain... And it just makes you dream that your Prince Charming is going to come along and you can dance the night away in a beautiful <laughs> castle <laughs> and look divine, you know? I know, the dream of every woman to look beautiful. I was fascinated by um, René Grau, um, who was a fantastic illustrator and who was a, had a great friendship with Mr. Dior. And Mr. Dior pretty much gave him carte blanche to 
um, illustrate his work and it's become iconic and a great inspiration um, not just to designers but to photographers his sense of graphics cropping um, many photographers I, I work with I often reference René Grapp but it's the first time I've really referenced it as an inspiration for the collection his um, quizzical, curious, authoritative line, whether it be crayon, pastel, or aquarelle, which um, inspired me to produce new volumes, new textures, a new way of working embroideries in a much more abstracted way, inspired by his painterly strokes. Is que justement cette femme des années 50, tu vois, très graphique, avec cette bouche très rouge, très inspiration.